free. So don't delay. Order yours today. The feeling of a job well done and the freedom that comes with it. Real Steel. Find yours. Not sold at Lowe's or the Home Depot. Pick up at over 10,000 local steel dealers. Don't miss the day's top news stories. Get them delivered to your inbox. Log on to kxnet.com and sign up for the KX News Daily Newsletter. Leading local with your weekend's forecast tonight on KX News. Happy 4th of July and welcome to the 2021 Mandan Independence Day Parade. Sponsored by Basin Electric Power Cooperative and DCI Credit Services. Welcome to the Mandan 4th of July Parade. We are live here on Main Street in Mandan. We're so excited to be here after having a year off. Yeah. And we've got the entire parade covered for you. I'm Amber Wheeler, along with Josh Many and Alicia Hawk here. Yes, thank you so much. So glad to be here after, you know, not having been here last year. Had a, a little break there, but uh, we're so glad to be back. And I think just given the sights, everybody is excited to be here. The streets are full. Yeah, yeah I looked at the Facebook post for May 2021 when KX, uh, you know, posted that the parade was going to be canceled during the pandemic and there was about 500 people who commented, people were reacting, yeah. why is it getting canceled, why this far out, and yep. July yeah. ended up being, you know, a pretty tough month for us. Yep. Yeah, it was. And and so, is this your first 4th of July parade yes. here in Mandan? Because you did live here before. Mm -hmm. um, so you are excited probably too just like we are to go through this and we have the entire book here yeah. of just a ton of floats we've gotten a, a good look at what we have going on here you already got to enjoy the cars you, yes you seem very interested in the car show going by <laughs> yeah i like the model t's mm -hmm. and uh i saw an mg that was mm -hmm. pretty cool and then of course muscle more muscle cars we saw the, yep. the old uh, yep. mustang that your husband yep. worked on he used to have a, a mustang and a and a camaro and no, no longer. Now no, they're all no, the days of kids with the van. A tons, there are tons coming down Main Street. And speaking of Main Street, what we're doing here is waiting on the parade. It starts on Memorial Highway and comes in our direction. And we've got a couple of reporters that you may recognize. In fact, we've got Tom Schrader and uh, Nakaya Guerrero. I want to uh, toss it out to those, those guys, and uh, they'll let you know what they're saying. Out there. They're with all the folks. Well, good morning. How you doing? Hey, Nakaya, how's it going? It's going, Tom. Are you excited to be here? I, you know, I'm very excited. And actually, I was a little worried early on because, well, when I got here, uh, I got here a couple hours ago just because I want to get a place to park. The street really wasn't that full. And I was oh. thinking, oh, no. But, man, it's packed now. This is going to be fun. Well, I've been here all week for the KX Summer Road Trip, and they were expecting the streets to be totally full. They were like, parking is going to be insane, so you do have to be here early. And I think a lot of us got here early and parking was still insane, but it's so exciting to see the streets full after last year's cancellation. And oh, yeah. I'm just excited yeah, to be here. I, it, this is really going to be a lot of fun. It's not an election year, so there won't be a lot of politicians this time. Uh, but we're going to be having, uh, you know, miss, a lot of misses and misses, you know, types of thing. A lot of uh, businesses with their floats here. Uh, this really is going to be a fun, fun time. I think I'm really excited for the Grand Marshal. I had the privilege of speaking with him earlier this week and doing a feature piece on him. And he is amazing, so super excited to interview him. And, and especially on the 4th of July. Exactly. So it, he was actually supposed to be the Grand Marshal last year, and he wasn't able to because of the cancellation. And that was one of his main things. He was just excited and, to be here. And it's a great story, and Nakai will be talking to him later, but just to give you a heads up, is a Korean War vet. It was a POW. For 16 months 16 months it's a just an amazing story and can't wait for you to talk to him yep and i'm really excited to just talk to the people who are here talk to some of the kids who are here for the first time who this may be their first time being here i know it's my first time yeah. being here and i'm just excited to just be working here with you i've been i've been here a few times i've been counting on my hands and fingers and my fingers and toes and i've gone through both hands both toes both sets of toes and i'm back on this hand so it's 23 years for me here this oh, is and this is my first, so oh. I'm going to be following you, taking we, your lead. We have a good average going on there. Exactly. All right, Alicia. It's definitely a 
packed house out here. Yeah. And they were right, because driving here, yeah, I think we often forget about the, the, the detours that you have to take. Mm -hmm. Nakaya, we forgot when you're coming in here for the detours. So don't, if you're not here yet, make sure you remember those detours, and you might have to walk a little bit. To you can coming. find all the detours on cakesnet.com. Yes, you can. We have those yeah. on there for you. And the weather, I mean, it's warm out here. Yeah. yeah. It's warm, but we have some wind, so I'm kind of thankful for the wind today. Nice. It's nice to have low wind. And uh, rain, we don't have rain, but I've been up, uh, had a couple rain showers. Yeah, we've had a little bit of rain this weekend. You know, it's uh, the sun is beating down a lot of folks who are here. We're seeing a lot of umbrellas, a lot of tents that folks have come and, and put up here hours ago. They knew what they were getting exactly. into. Of course, we're under this tent here as well, and that's good because there's hardly a cloud in the sky. I've been looking on the satellite and out here, so we're just not going to see any cloud cover in mm -hmm. this uh, in this parade. And, and this actually, uh, for the 4th of July, this might, if we do hit our forecast high of 95, 96 or so, I've got about 96, it would be our third hottest 4th of July here in Mandan on record. Records going back to the late 1800s. So this is a really hot day. So wow. when we say it's hot, it's, it's not just that we're complaining. No, we have a reason to say it's hot. <laughs> it might be record breaking today. Oh my gosh. Um, so yeah, a pretty wild one. And, and I think we're gonna head out to Tom. Yeah. Tom's always finding somebody He's cool to talk to. He's in the sun. Tom. Tom? Yeah, I have Kennedy here. Hi, Kennedy. How you doing? Good. Now, what do you like best about parades? The candy. The candy. What kind of candy do you think you're going to get? I don't know. Maybe Skittles. Do you have a bag so you can hold it all in? Yes. Well, you know what? Right down there, I can hear the sirens. The parade is about to, about to start. So, Kennedy, thank you. Go have fun, all right? All right. Parade's about ready to start. I am a big Skittle fan. What's your guys' favorite candies? Oh, there we go. We're ready. We're not the talking candy now. The beginning of the parade right there after two years, after a year off. So we haven't seen this in, in two years. This is exciting. I believe we're looking at the Marine, Marine Color, Color Guard. Yep, that's right. And the Marine Color Guard, you know, they, they present the national flag and the Marine Corps battle color. Uh, and they do that at ceremonies throughout the United States. And this is to render appropriate military honors and uh, display the Marine Corps' illustrious war fighting history. So uh, we certainly thank them for their service. And uh, what you'll notice is that um, a military presence is is definitely something that you'll see here today. It's something we see in a lot of parades, and it's only fitting that it, it starts off our parade here, especially for the 4th of July. That's what it's all about. Yeah. yeah. So important that we remember the sacrifices yes. for freedom. That's yeah. the most important. That's something that we often forget in yeah. the, uh, we get in the hubbub of the, the food and the excitement, the parades. That is, that is what we can't forget. And I think, uh, you know, having the flag, we see the flag everywhere, and our children are wearing, you know, the symbol of the flag, and I think it's great to teach our children that. And this yeah. this parade, Mandan's Independence Parade, has been a tradition now since 1881. And I did not count the years. I don't know what annual parade this is, because we know we as of last year, it was a year off. But since 1881, yeah. this parade has been a tradition. That's yeah. really just the very beginning of uh, North Dakota. Exactly. All the, the farmers and families were gathering here at mm -hmm. Frontier, so it's amazing that this parade was going so long. And speaking of which, you know, you're going to see a lot of uh, a lot of North Dakota represented in this in the way of agriculture and ranching, and uh, you know that is what we are is an agriculture state. We're going to have a lot of farm equipment. Uh, we're going to have a lot tractors. of companies that represent that. We have butcher block mm -hmm. meats coming, coming up. up yep, yeah, which is right here on Main and Mandan. We've got um, places people that have come from all over the state to be in this and of course we're going to uh, try to walk you through each one so you get to see all the businesses that are in your community that maybe you didn't know about and, yeah. and maybe some tidbits about them that you didn't know. We should give a shout out to uh, where we are right now. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Main, Main Street, Street drive Liquor. Yeah. yeah. We, we thank them so much for giving us this plot of land to have a tent and yes. all of our equipment out here. We've got a huge team of, uh, you know, videographers, producers. We've got our whole control room back behind us. Yes, yes that's, what, that's what's right behind us. us this year. This year we set up right next to our control room. We have our audio operator, Seth, uh, who's constantly speaking in our ear. Uh, we, well, hello, hello, he said. Uh, we have Tyler, who is our, our Good Day Dakota director, also directing the show. We have a, a, a crew back at our station at KX News who are also putting this on. Hello to you back at the station uh, because we can't talk to you. We also have several camera operators uh, running up and down.
down Main Street to give you the best view of this parade. And also we have, we cannot forget, Paige. Yes. Paige is up, up, in, the up in the sky. Can we we'll have a shot of that, Tyler? Can we get a shot of shot. what Paige has going for you? I believe you might have already seen her, uh, her Paige pictures there. Paige in the crane. Paige is above us here. And so she's, this is basically showing how far off the, the parade is. We get a, a, a view pretty far away. So she's in a crane above Main Street and she's going to be there the whole time. She's equipped with her water and her snacks and her sunblock and her even her umbrella. Uh, so again, we have a whole team here to bring you this parade. Yeah, and, and you were making sure people were putting their sunblock on. Yeah. <laughs> I was running around <laughs> making sure everybody had their sunblock on before we started this whole thing here. And everybody is uh, well lathered up, which is good. Yep. And I'm seeing the wind. You know, I'm, I'm really glad. I think our I think our tent here is anchored pretty well as I look at it because yeah. I'm thankful for this wind and I'm yeah. hopeful I'm that everything anchored well. is anchored. <laughs> <laughs> What's coming from the west, correct, yes, Amber? Yeah, is that? So yep. we're kind of we're kind of blocked. Westerly by our, gust yeah. here. Yeah, yeah it's uh, it's going to be a little bit of a breeze, but you know what? With the humidity that we have, uh, I think this will be a, a welcome yeah. one for a lot of folks here. Everybody. Uh, and again, you are you are looking at the well. Uh, that uh, picture there was the Marine Color Guard. Uh, they are coming down Main Street, beginning this parade here that will uh, span as much as about well, I believe we have almost a hundred floats this yes, year. This year. Yeah. Usually, you know, if it's an election year, we would have it maybe a little longer. 120, um, maybe sometimes yeah, 150. And that's probably what we'll have next mm -hmm. year. Yeah. Um, and we do have a few politicians sprinkled yep. in. You'll yes, see them throughout do. the show. Yep, Senator Hoven will be here this year. And uh, I know, as we said, it is packed. It is a packed house. Everybody has been so excited for this since last year. We couldn't have the parade due to COVID, of course. And uh, if you have not arrived yet, if you are coming, just uh, be sure, as Josh mentioned, we do have uh, the detours all mentioned on our website at kxnet.com because you're going to need to be aware of those and be prepared to walk a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah we had to walk a little bit to get here. <laughs> <But> <laughs> and we were here early. We were here yeah. a few hours before this yeah. broadcast started. So. And our control team and our, 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 our producers were here. Hours before earlier. we were. So. <laughs> yes, they were here bright early. Yeah. Seven? Seven oh, o'clock, yeah. I think. Yeah, they were well, here. I'm just looking at their cars where they're parked. So they were here early. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, so again, we are still here at Main Street Liquors drive through uh, We're waiting for the parade to get to us so we can get you a closer view. Uh, again, right now our view is of the crane uh, on the crane. There's one of our cameras that we have on the ground level uh, where we'll be able to see all these different uh, floats and um, and military uh, accolades here that are coming down Main Street, uh, all the farm equipment, and we have even banks that are going to be here, school bus companies, um, hospitals that are uh, from the region that will be uh, represented here, different charities that you may not have even known uh, know existed, uh, something maybe that you could get involved in here. Even I see on here Sleepy Hollow Theater. Princess of here. America Junior Ambassador will be here. She we can see uh, she wanted Mandan to Fire Department. Uh, yep. In the back, the, and we all, we have a number of uh, we have Mandan Rural Fire Department, Bismarck Rural Fire Department, as well as uh, the Morton County Sheriff. And there you see Old Glory coming down Main Street, which is uh, another affectionate term for our American flag. And you know, another reason to be thankful for the wind is look at those flags fly. Yeah. It's just a beautiful sight. Nothing says 4th of July or Independence Day yes. than Old Glory coming down Main Street, being carried by the Marine Corps Color Guard Platoon. Again, Mandan's Independence Day Parade has been a tradition. I, I said it's just amazing since 1881. It's a lot of years, yeah. and there's a lot of preparation, uh, you know, behind the scenes for something like this. And uh, you know, we we talk about, uh, you know, how we what we do to put this broadcast on. Mm -hmm. Think about how long it takes to put this parade the together. Coordination, those, those that goes guys. With this. Well, our engineer Nate, who lives in Mandan, says as soon as this parade's over, they begin prepping for next. Yep. Yeah. So. Yep. It's a it's a, a one year effort. Yeah. Indeed. And a, and just the coordination among all the people. Um, you know, just uh, just getting everybody lined up and it's a uh, it's a feat indeed. And it looks like they're getting closer and closer. I to hear us. I'm them. Sure, uh, Tom and Nakaya are out there scouring the crowd to see who they're going to get next here to introduce us to. Lots of people who we are going to get to speak with this year. And I know uh, we were speaking with the mother 
of... I think we're going to head out oh, here. we are. Okay, we have uh, Tom and Akai are out there. What, what, what do we have there, both of you? Um, well, people seem to be really excited. The parade it's, it's right is right in. behind us at this point, and they're just standing up in the middle of the street, ready to see these floats come by. And you know, one of the things that I really like is when we have military personnel, because people all along the route, and you can kind of hear them already, they stand up and clap. They applaud for a military, and that they should. I think it's really important to celebrate our military personnel, especially on a day like this, where 4th of July is all about the independence yeah. of our country. And we will be interviewing the Grand Marshal any minute now. Yep. So We're going to go find some people to talk to. Yep. We'll be right back, guys. Be sure to stick around. I, I we can get a, a, a view of this uh, from our, our control room. I'm talking to you guys. Uh, we have a lot of folks, like Nakaya was saying and Tom were saying, standing up on the side of Main Street and here. Clapping. And you can clapping see them on the side of the street. Holding their hands on their I'm, hearts. I have goosebumps. This is the sight. This is what I literally have goosebumps. This is right my now. favorite part. This is what we are here for today. This is oh, why I'm like getting emotional. <laughs> Watching everyone stand up. Again, you're looking at the uh, Marine Corps Color Guard platoon there, uh, and they are also ushering in Old Glory right behind them. With them, actually. such an incredible sight and it's it just kind of holds you speechless demons football the team demons, the demons yeah. football team holding the flag carrying the flag in seeing uh, Mandan PD, you're seeing and hearing Mandan PD, as well as Morton County Sheriff and Mandan uh, Fire Department. There's a few different uh, fire departments here that you'll be seeing. <laughs> There's Mandan Rural Fire Department, the Mandan Rural Fire Department, and uh, Bismarck Rural Fire Department along with them. Oh, these big rigs. Different, uh, different hoses to spray down the crowd because it is <laughs> hot out here. In fact, I'll be doing temperature checks throughout this uh, this show here to give you an idea of what we're looking at down on the ground level. Again, our highs today in the 90s, so it is it is hot. I believe you're looking here 
Uh, still at, uh, this is Mandan, or I think this is Bismarck Rural Fire Department there that you're looking at on your screen. And every time we cover a story about rural fire departments, they're always in need of volunteers. Absolutely. Always. Yeah, they're a volunteer-based organization, and I don't think folks realize that, or their majority of who work there to fight these fires are, are, uh, are volunteer. And we have vol even the little guys there yeah. with them. And specifically, your more rural fire departments, the smaller rural fire departments, I know they're always, always looking for volunteers, the younger volunteers to come along as as those, the older volunteers start to retire. Yeah. And we all appreciate so much the work that they all do. And see here, some younger volunteers stepping forth. Yeah. <laughs> They're already volunteer, but volunteering by handing out candy. Get them started early. <laughs> yeah, we, we also cover a lot of stories about first responders being a family of yeah. first responders. So, like you said, they're always, you know, kind of passing the torch. Right. They're tight-knit. And, you know, there have been times where I've, I've, I've covered parades before. And, I, Alicia, I feel like maybe it was a parade you and I covered. Um, and this one could have been the one in Minot where they actually had to clear the way um, there wasn't, uh, and I believe, you know, most of these, they're all kind of ready for this, but there was one particular fire department that, um, it was a small one, they didn't have a lot of units, but they decided to bring them out, and towards the end of the parade, they had a, <laughs> oh, they had a, um, a, 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 a fire that they had to get to, and yes. so they had to clear they the parade to... uh, quickly so they can get out, and I believe uh, these guys, they certainly prepared. <laughs> I love the little, the little guys there. It looks like we're going to head out to Tom Schrader. Who you got, Tom? Well, yeah, I have the uh, Bismarck Rural Fire Chief here. What's your name? Dustin Thayer. Dustin, okay. We, everybody knows how bad it is, how dry it is. You guys are real busy this year. Um, it's been a year where it's we've been very lucky with the citizens of Burley County. They've did a great job so far this year um, following the burn ban when the conditions are really, really bad. So um, overall, we haven't been as busy as some of the other fire departments throughout the state um, and other counties. But um, just want to thank all the citizens of Burley County for everything that they've did so far this year and trying to keep everybody safe by following those burn ban guidelines. And you know, you have one of those jobs that we're glad you're there, but we hope you never have to work. Yeah, it, it's always there. We're always there always to help um, at a moment's notice. Uh, and people should not hesitate to call 911 if they have an emergency. Well, thank you for your service. All right, Take you. care. Good to hear when when they say that the residents have been really good this year and abiding by those those burn bans and uh, we hope that everybody continues to do so because as Amber's been telling us it's a dry year and here we have here here we are looking at the Mandan marching band and we've had we had a story on them recently here and they are the only marching band we have this year yeah and we they have been practicing and rehearsing in the heat and we know yesterday I'm sure that they were practicing. Um, yeah. <laughs> this is a feat. Amber, you were in a marching band. You know <laughs> yeah. what it's like. I love this. We're I, have, I this love these guys. the marching bands. Oh. They're incredible. And I don't, hopefully you can hear it if uh, if the control can let me know in my ear if, if uh, we're able to get some good audio from that uh, the marching band. To these guys, yes. we got to listen in on, uh, on this incredible marching band here. Again, this is the uh, Mandan Marching Band. She is out there. Let's uh, see who you have, Nakaya. You, Alicia, Josh, and Amber. I have a familiar face. It's Terry Wu from Furry Friends. She is out here today, a part of the parade. Terry, do we have any furry friends with us? We have Rick's up in the passenger seat of our van, as you can see. Um, it's a little bit warm out today, so we had to make the decision to keep most of the pups at the shelter or in the foster homes just because of the risk. But Rex is riding up in the air conditioning right where he should be today. It's a beautiful day otherwise. And how exciting is it for you guys to be out here, part of the Mandan Independence Day Parade? It's awesome. It's awesome to see all these faces and the kids, which we love. And, you know, the music, it's just, how can it get any better? This is North Dakota at its best. Perfect. Thank you so much, Thank Terry. You. And Alicia, Amber, and Josh, stick around. I have another green interview in a few minutes. All right. <laughs> Thanks, Nikai. Well, let's, let's try to focus on the band here while they're coming by.
and thank you to the Mandan Marching Band. And you're looking here, um, I believe that might be their bus. That's Harlow's. We're looking at the Harlow's bus company there. They uh, they transport the Mandan Band. Yes, yes. I do remember those days. I can tell you that uh, you'll have some lifetime friendships if you're in a marching band. You spend a lot of time on the on the bus together, going to those competitions and games. <laughs> it looks like the American flag definitely represented again here. This is appropriately. Mandan Touchdown Club we have here with the flags a, uh, to promote wholesome, competitive football in a safe environment, foster growth of the game, and bring new opportunities to the youth of Mandan. Hey, and Nakaya, she is out there to uh, bring us some more here live. Hey, Amber and Alicia and Josh, I'm here with my friend Vern Huber, who I had the privilege of interviewing. He's a Korean War veteran and a POW who was in captivity for 16 months. Vernon, how does it feel to be here? It's amazing. I just can't believe the honor and number of people. It's a honor, very high honor, believe me. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice because they do the people, but I really appreciate their serving in Nazareth. I, it's outstanding. Perfect. Yeah. Vernon, it must be a privilege to see all these faces out here. It is. It's amazing. Amazing. I never expected this. But like I said, I'm very, very honored that they are coming out to the brand. Thank you very much. Perfect. Thank you so much, Vernon. It was nice seeing you again. And that's Vernon Huber. He is the Grand Marshal this year. He was supposed to be the Grand Marshal last year, but that didn't end up happening. All right, like Nikaya says, uh, Vern Huber is the Grand Marshal. He joined the U.S. Air Force in 1950, wow. got deployed to the Korean War in 1951. He was on his 44th combat mission flying, and he was hit in one of the wings. He started spiraling. He had to eject. While he was on the ground, he had his uh, radio on, and he tried to break it so it wouldn't make noise. He got picked up by three North Koreans and served in a POW camp for wow, 16 what months. A, what a story. It's just yeah. an incredible story. And, and uh, what an honor to have him here yes. today. And he is followed uh, by the North Dakota Army National Guard. Again, military presence appropriately uh, very heavy here. We're really glad to see them. Thank you for your service. This is something like I've never seen before. What they've what they've got here today. It's like a boat. It, yes. Their engineer yep. company. And we've we've seen them do practice runs. I know you don't call it a practice run, but we've seen them do their Drill. exercises and their drills with those boats and it's just incredible what they do. Yeah. I believe you're looking there at the uh, yeah. civil support the civil team support there, team. Them. The 81st civil support team there. Throwing out what looks like maybe some type of swag, some National Guard swag. And here comes the Butcher Block Meats. They were the 2019 winner. As you can see, wow. they have wow. decked out. They have put a lot of time <laughs> in that oh. float. That yes. is appropriately Fourth of July. <laughs> well, look at that, Charlie Brown. Yeah. It says saluting those who serve. How Whoops. appropriate. Man, I can imagine it's taken them at least the full year to put that thing together. That's right. You're and looking. of course the horses. The Mandan Rodeo Committee, yes. been, they've been very busy here in the last few days. Uh, and uh, you can see here they're coming down Main Street appropriately with uh, several different types of horses here. And representing with lots of flags. You know, people like us who don't see horses every day, you get to see up close and personal here just the beauty and the immense size and of know. these animals. If and you can hear the sound yes. of their little, their hoofs, their little hoofs, the their little hoofs, <laughs> their big hoofs. The literal <laughs> clippity clop. <laughs> And then here, who, I think this must be Heart River, Heart River Stables following them. Um, let's see here. Actually, I believe no, nope, we're, we're looking at a rodeo clown here. We had um, this is Matt Tar. Matt Tar, yes. On Studio 701 this week, yes, um, with his son. Uh, being a rodeo clown is uh, is no small feat. <laughs> oh, I can't that's imagine. for sure. I no can, joke. Yeah. It's got to be scary. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, they're joking and they're laughing, but I can't imagine uh, just how scary it's got to be. And Miss Rodeo Mandan. Miss Rodeo Mandan. What an honor. 
continues today. You know, that's always a big event for everybody to attend. Those here is Hard are. River Stables. Yes, that, here Heart they River are Stables now. Hard River Stables is located two miles west of Mandan on Highway 10. Long-term, short-term, and overnight boarding is available for horses. Training facilities and riding lessons are also available. So this would be where you would take your horse if you, say, you went to buy one, but you didn't have a stable at your house. Yep. Uh, so they would... They would help you. They would uh, store your your and your horse very helpfully. You have no idea how to ride. Well, we'll teach you. How much yeah. work and time goes into owning oh, a yeah. horse? I yeah. can't even, can't oh even yeah, imagine. yeah. And not everybody has a stable. You might live right in the middle of the city. Well, they are they are there to help you. I believe you're looking here at T and K Ranch. These are the Belgian paints, registered Belgian paints. These are just gorgeous, gorgeous specimens of horses here. This is Bill and Bob, Bill the and horses. Bob are the Bill horses. and Bob. I love that. They're along the Northeast Anchor Acres Ranch. They're from Bismarck. And they're a black and white gypsy banner horse named Flair alongside there. Beautiful. Another just gorgeous horse. Just look at the coloring on and those horses. And those riding in the front, that's Tom and Kim Fettig from Bismarck. Uh, they're with the team that's registered uh, the Belgian paints, who are, of course, Bill and, Bill and Bob, and they brought their own music, too. Looks like they are followed by West River Rodeo Bible Camp. And they're jamming out, and uh, Tom is out here. I think he has somebody to come across. Yeah, what's your name, sir? Brian Fettig. And Brian, now you're with a couple of different ranches. Who are they? Yeah, uh, Northeast Acres Ranch and TNK Ranch. What's, uh, what's the big thing about them? Uh, Northeast Acres, we have Gypsy Banner horses and TNK Ranch. They do weddings and special events. Now, what's that? The horse of what? What kind of horse? It's a Gypsy Banner. Okay, I, I grew up in Phoenix. I don't know what that is. Yep, it's a lot of hair and good attitude, I guess. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for taking the time to talk. All right, yeah. take care. A lot, a lot of hair and good, good attitude. attitude. That might be one of us. Sounds like it's describing us. Sounds like, sounds like some group. anchors. A lot of hair yeah. and, and good attitude. Good attitude. <laughs> so that means we're flares. <laughs> we are flares. We're the, we're the human flares. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you're, uh, you might be looking at the... This is the, the, the uh, Hermanson Kissed Horse Sale. Hermanson. Um, yeah, that's, I've got it right. The Hermanson Fall Kissed Horse Sale. Fall Spring Horse Sale. And, uh, yeah, they got the fall and spring There you go. Sale. If you want to buy a horse, you then <laughs> take them to the Heart River Sables to to uh, to learn how to ride. And I, I don't know what kind of... Oh, look at We got quite the gymnast there, too, following alongside them. And right behind them, it looks like <laughs> so we've got okay. we've got the the appropriate uh, behind and the rear here the poop scoops. Um, now that looks like a uh, the, the I'm waiting for Tom because Tom, Tom usually Tom hits them up, but we'll see. Out. He always <laughs> seeks them out. The poop scoops. Yeah, and then you're looking here at uh, Dakota Community Bank, also with a uh, a pretty uh, pretty incredible float here. Pretty it's another incredible land of the free. You just think about all the detail on these floats. Yes. I, I can't even fathom putting something like that together and what that takes and the hours that it takes to put these yeah. kind of floats together. Dakota Community Bank is uh, throwing out candy. So yes. Always a good thing for Som the kids. And sometimes they, they throw one out to us. Sometimes <laughs> they I think we might, we might be hidden just far enough back this time. but <laughs> Yeah, and you know what's really awesome is watching the kids, uh, you know, getting the candy. Their, their bags getting fuller and fuller yes. as uh, the time goes on. It looks like this uh, may be Corral Sales. Corral sales. Yes. Yeah. That's an old truck. Very old truck. You see a lot of those in parades. Yeah, you know, I have to say, just just uh, you know, from my husband speaking, those old trucks have got to be so much easier to work on than yes. today's oh, day and age the vehicles. Everything's so compact. They really didn't need a warranty space. those days. You can see everything. <laughs> so appropriately carrying a, a, a camper, which is what about 95% uh, of North Dakotans uh, yes. do in the summer. <laughs> yep, especially now. 
This is a security first bank of North Dakota with also a pretty uh, pretty wild float there throwing out candy. Now I kind of want to get up and close to one of these floats here and see how they put all these little sparkles in each little place. <laughs> yeah. I really do. How they get them in there strategically. Also uh, this is base and electric power cooperative that you uh, see here on your screen. They're your local touchstone energy cooperatives. They're your trusted energy partners in the community. Your source for power and information. Okay, and uh, Nakaya is standing by here to tell us some more. Hi, Alicia, Amber, and Josh. I am back. I'm with Mark and Karina who are here just enjoying their day here at the Mandan Parade. Uh, can you tell us, you know, have you guys been here in the past? Yes. Yes, we have. And how does it feel to be here today, you know, enjoying all the floats and the candy? It's really nice just to see all the kids and see all the community businesses around here and everybody that's here supporting them. It's fun. It's a lot of fun. Do you guys have any other plans after today, after the parade? Well, hopefully we'll end up watching the classic cars go by also and just enjoy the festivities all day long. Perfect. Thank you guys so much. Um, Alicia, Amber, Josh, back to you. Well, that looks like they enjoy the classic cars as well there, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> I did, here's Starian Bank. Did I, did I pronounce that yep, correctly? Yeah, Starian Bank. Yep. Uh, it will stand apart as a family-owned super community bank providing local leadership, personalized service and community loyalty, along with a broad line of sophisticated financial services. They give helpful personalized services. They're flexible. And uh, they have all the ability to do what big banks do while also being in the community, local. Lots of flags flowing there. Represented with a, a big cow here uh, is the Independent Beef Association of North Dakota. They are a statewide voice in the cattle industry for the cattle producer. Our members are their, their membership, or if you are a member rather, it's uh, primarily made up of cow calf operations in North Dakota. And they're a nonprofit organization that work in conjunction with other organizations as your statewide and national voice in the cattle industry, which is something uh, that is uh, all eyes have been watching the, uh, the cattle industry this year, being that we're in such an extreme drought. They arguably are the ones that are probably yeah. hit the most out of the, uh, the dry conditions. There's a lot of programs that can help uh, cattle uh, producers out with water hauling, yep. uh, yeah. feed, and they can open up graze lands. You can go to cakes.com to find out about that. And here we have the Lincoln Home Center. They do the interior and exterior modeling. Man, they brought a little and, uh, bit with them. Yeah, they do. You can wow. see a little they example. They everything and the kitchen sink. Quite <laughs> <laughs> <Boy>, literally. <laughs> taste of what they could do. <laughs> Seth approved. That was funny, Amber. Our control room approved. That was Every funny. once in a while I got a little zinger. <laughs> and then here we have RJR Maintenance and Management. They're locally owned and they have uh, operations here uh, right off of uh, Memorial Highway, providing Bismarck and Mandan, the surrounding communities with rental needs. Uh, and of course, when you think of property management, sometimes uh, you think of RJR, you see them driving around town a lot. Here. And it looks like that might be pictures of maybe their family members or uh, their friends who have served. I saw some older pictures there. Pretty remarkable float. You know, it can be easy to take our military for granted when you're sitting around enjoying your AC, having the grill on, but yep. it's great to remember them on yeah, days like this. All right, and Tom, uh, Tom is standing by here. Uh, what do you have for us, Tom? Okay, I have two very important people here. Now, what's your name? My name is Jude. And what's your name? Mia. You guys go to the same school? No. Where do you go to school? St. Mary's. And where do you go? Well, I'm going to Wilmore. Now, I said they had a real important job because they do, because there's kids all 
all over this route, and you guys are throwing out candy, right? How many times have you had to fill this up? Because that's a pretty big bucket. Seven. Seven times, and you're not even done. Have you had to fill that up yet? Oh, you have popsicles, don't you? Mm -hmm. I'll bet you're real popular. Oh, Pixie Sticks, got one for every. Can we have some? Yeah. All right. Hey, you guys are going to go have fun for the rest of the morning, right? Yeah. All right. Get back to work. Popsicles wow. and Pixie Sticks. Man, Baby. she knows what to bring. <laughs> yeah. She knew the assignment. And she brought popsicles. Sugar this. and liquid wow. sugar, yeah. a parent's <laughs> dream. <laughs> it's also an Amber's dream. Yeah, yeah. And well, here, we got candy. We you know, you candy. ask and yeah. you shall receive. <laughs> Sometimes yeah. I do get candy. I don't know gets thrown out over here. I think uh, we have the, is this the Bismarck Bobcats coming Looks up like next? Looks like it, yeah. And then the, they're celebrating their 25th year in yeah. Bismarck Mandan area here. Actually, and, I think uh, this might be Bobcat of Mandan. Oh, Bobcat of Mandan. Appropriately, I'm, I'm uh, I mean, sitting with the Bismarck Bobcats, two different right. things, but uh, same, similar name. Yes, yeah, similar, <laughs> very similar.